Good day all, welcome back to Cruising Classics YouTube channel. Today we have for you a 1977 Chevrolet Corvette. Dressed in its original color of medium red with a black leather interior the way it originally came from the factory. You gotta love these C3s and their beautiful curvaceous body styles. You got that pointed nose with the flip up headlights that iconic low slung front end with high fenders you know what it is coming up behind you when you see one of these the lights do work just as they should emblems and badges on the car are in good condition this is a respray uh, and a couple of notes it looks great from 10 feet away when you're back here you can't see anything wrong with it it's just gleaming red paint but when you get up on it Throughout the body, there's small imperfections, but on the hood, when the car was painted, they didn't put a heat mat underneath the hood like it would have come from the factory, and so it bubbled in spots on the hood from the heat of the engine. So if you wanted a perfect car, the hood would need to be repainted and a heat mat installed. If you just want something to cruise around in that looks great from a couple feet away, this is your car. And we have priced it accordingly. For under $15,000 for a C3 Corvette where just about every single feature on it still works, that's a really good deal. And this only has 58,000 actual miles. It says so on the title and the car sure looks like it too. You'll see here we've got aluminum, cast aluminum factory wheels. Wrapped in Cooper Cobra radial GTs, nice tires, tons of tread left on them. And I love those wheels. They look great on the car. Nice bright working trim. You'll see on the window edges, on the edges of the T-tops, both sides have those side mirrors done in chrome. Chrome rockers right there. And the 77s had a key. This was for the security system. Uh, which on this car, like almost all of them from that year, no longer works. It would just make the, uh, the horn honk if you open the door with that turned on. Got more cross flags badging. This actually replaced Stingray badging on the C3 Corvette. Starting in 1977, they did away with the Stingray moniker, uh, which had been with them for so long. So although it's the same car, basically, as the one that preceded it, it is no longer technically a Stingray. Great looking body style. 77 was the last year for this flat back window. Uh, starting the following year in 78, it turned, turned into the long one that came all the way back to about this area here. You can see the antenna has been replaced. It's just a stationary one, it's modern. Uh, the radio though is still factory. You'll see that when we get in the car and it gets good reception. So that antenna must be working. Around back, you've got the sloped 77 front end. Dual trim rings on the rounded tail lights, which is nice. Exhaust exits on both sides of the rear. You can see the cross flags emblem on the gas cap. And this is an eight bolt luggage rack. And that's important because there are six bolt racks and there are eight bolt racks. If you buy an eight bolt rack, you can, for a couple hundred dollars, buy a kit that clamps on here and down here that will form, that'll work as a T-top holder. You can then put your T-tops in and the little tabs go right into those pieces. You put a strap across it, pull it tight. Uh, I have a 77 vet with one of those luggage racks on it and I'll do 90 miles an hour down the road with my T-tops sitting on it and they don't budge. Uh, and you still have all the room then in your cargo area for groceries or luggage or whatever you're toting around. You don't have to put your T-tops in your car. You can just put them on the luggage rack. I never knew that till I owned a C3, and I'll tell you what, it's handy. I do it all the time. Again, beautiful curves, nice attractive red car. Paint simple driver quality, but again, at the price point we're at, I don't know where you're gonna find a cooler car for under $15,000 than this one. It's a V8, it's an automatic, and it looks impressive. Folks, I'll pause real briefly while I pop open the hood. And we are back with the hood open. And on a Corvette, they open the opposite direction. But Corvettes are pretty easy to work on. You can really reach down into everything in the engine bay like this. It's not, uh, not bad at all. 
What we've got here, painted in corporate blue, is the original 350 cubic inch V8 that came with the car. It is numbers matching. It's the L48 engine. Uh, back in 1977, there were two variants, the L48 and the L82. This is the L48. Uh, it has replacement valve covers there. You'll see the Edelbrock logo. And same thing on the air breather, Edelbrock. The original air cleaner is in the back cargo area of the car. Uh, previous owner, when he replaced it with this, saved it in case somebody wanted it in the future. You'll see here the chrome timing, or uh, I'm sorry, ignition cover. Oftentimes these ignition covers wind up gone over time. This one looks good and it's still intact. You can see we've got power brakes here. It's a power steering vehicle as well. I'm gonna scooch around to the other side so you can get a view of it over here. You can see cast manifolds running down for exhaust. And overall, a stock appearance. I'm sure we took a picture of it. I'm gonna try and get into where you can actually see the uh there we go that it's numbers matching and we'll list the vin on the on the ad so you can check that out too just go to cruisingclassicsinc.com and you'll see that in a photograph and you can compare it to the actual vin on the car which happens to be right there all right well, let's hop on in inside. I want you folks to check out the really beautiful black interior in here. It is in great shape. You'll see when we open the door, the under dash, courtesies come on, and so does the dome light. Door cards are in pretty good condition. They look original to me. There are some small imperfections that show with age. It looks like somebody did a little touch up right on the edge of that one that's a popular spot for them and you'll see some wear on the lock mechanism that's just time and patina there carpet looks great at the base of the door and the door sills look like they've been replaced uh, this sill plate here looks very very nice it looks too new for the car seats this is the original oem style seat i don't know if at some time they recovered or replaced them but they are in awesome shape no rips, no tears. They are super comfortable to sit in. They're in great shape. Done in black leather the way they came from the factory. Looking inside, you can see here we've got a center console. It does have the uh, padded armrest. Most Corvettes have. Let's hop on in. Ah, uh, the cockpit of a Corvette. Nice and tight. You'll see here, gauges. Uh, that's your speedometer. And there you've got your tack. Down below on this side, over here. You see you've got your, your light switch right here. Fans. Down below you've got hood release and brake release. Wipers are on the stock. It's two-speed wipers and they do work. Uh, you may have already read the ad already. If you haven't, uh, this is a four-spoke steering wheel and in 1977 Corvette had moved on to a three spoke with a telescopic and tilt function to it. This is a non tilt steering column with a four spoke steering wheel which makes this one of only a couple of thousand cars that were not ordered with that new steering wheel in 77 so it's kind of rare. Uh, you don't see many like that with that combination I actually had to look it up to figure out what had happened there gauge cluster. The clock does not work. Other gauges all do. And they do illuminate in the dark as well when the lights are on. Got a factory AM, FM, push button radio. Uh, it goes through a couple of Jensen speakers back in the cargo space. And it sounds good. Beneath that, here on the center console, we have controls for the heat. Uh, heat does get hot and fan does blow strong, so it does what it should. It'll switch from defrost to floor. It does uh, all the functions it should do. Nice cross flags logo on the ashtray here. And behind that, your automatic shifter. Three-speed transmission. Uh, it's a TH350. Good pairing for the car. E-brake. You'll see the passenger seat. It's in great shape, just like the driver's. And the 
passenger's door card shows even less wear than the driver's, as one might expect. Ahead of the passenger, no glove box in a Corvette, just a simplistic series of uh, compartment bags that you can put things into. Uh, most Corvette users, or owners, never use them really. Dash pad cover here on the front is nice and crack free. And even up on the speaker vents, which is where they crack so often in these C3s, there are no, no brakes. Looks good. Up above, T-tops are in good condition. You've got dual visors. And in the back, right now there's a big car cover back here that comes along with it. And there are storage compartments, as you can see. The one behind the driver's seat actually has the battery in it and you can see there that's a strap for holding down t-tops if you choose to put them in the back cargo space that's your hold down right there let's go ahead and turn this over this is an old carbureted vehicle so once i click the key i'm going to hit it three times one two three and turn her over like a champ That was a cold start. We've got enough gas to take a little trip. Clock still reads the same time it did before. Oil pressure hopped right up there. We'll give it some gas and watch the needle move. Battery's charging nice and strong. Radio works fine. Heat fan works fine. Just one moment. What I'm going to do is hop out. I'm going to close the hood. And then we're going to turn the headlights on for you. I'll show you that the headlights do operate on a Corvette. That's kind of a big deal. Pretty close to it at the same time. There you are. Now we'll go ahead and put those down. Great sounding, great looking Corvette here. And a heck of a deal for the money. I don't know where you're gonna kind of find a car these days that looks so hot, 15 grand. Turnkey and ready to rock and roll, hit the road, go to a car show, go cruising down a country road, take the missus out for dinner, whatever you wanna do with it, it is ready to go. Folks, if you've got any questions about the 77 Corvette, give us a call here in Columbus at Cruising Classics. Our number is 614. 276-7355. We're here to answer any questions you may have about this car, or we can help you with financing, or we can help you with transportation to get this car to your garage, wherever that garage may be. Again, we're Cruising Classics in Columbus, Ohio, 614-276-7355. And we've got this gorgeous 1977 C3 Corvette. Keep tuned. Tomorrow we'll have something else cool. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.